Greetings, Mark Brown here, Toastmasters 1995 World Champion of Public Speaking and also CSP, Certified Speaking Professional with the National Speakers Association. I want to share a bit of my speaking journey with you today. I first got acquainted with Toastmasters back in December of 1992 when I attended a meeting of the Reader's Digest Toastmasters Club in New York. At the time, I was a mainframe computer programmer in the Information Systems Department. I was like a computer nerd, but I attended a club meeting and within four months, I joined the club. A year later, in 1994, I entered my club's international speech contest completely by accident on two and a half hours notice, replacing a contestant who had to attend a business meeting at that time. Now, truthfully, I had absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into. But six months later, I was a finalist in the 1994 World Championships. Who knew? That was held in Louisville, Kentucky at the Galt House. And to no one's surprise, I did not win that contest. But my son, Joel, seven years old, was very disappointed. And I recall being in that ballroom about four rows back. He was crying in my lap, Dad, you didn't win. It's not fair. And I tried to comfort him. And a man literally walked into my life and transformed it. His name, David Brooks, the 1990 world champion. And he said to me, Mark, I don't mean to interrupt a tender family moment, but I may not see you again. I believe you're talented. I'd love to help you if you're willing. Here's my card. And with that, he was gone. The 1990 world champion thought I was talented. Wow. The following day, I got back to New York, dropped my bags and called David Brooks. Hello, David. Yes. It's Mark Brown. Do you remember me? He said, Mark, I met you yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. And that began a long distance mentoring relationship from Austin, Texas, where he lived, to my home in Mount Vernon, New York, mostly by telephone and by fax. Now, for the millennials, a fax machine is a bill, is a machine that resembles a small printer. You put paper in it and you, well, never mind, you'll figure it out later on. Truth be told, a year later, I went back to my club contest and I went all the way from club to area to division to district to region and, of course, to the world championship which, of course, I won. But here's the interesting thing. There were nine finalists in 94, and I learned that David Brooks, wonderful man that he is, and I call him the master mentor to this day, offered his help to seven of us who did not win. But I was the only one who said yes. And not surprisingly, I was the only one to return to the final. And as you know, I was the only one to win in 95. What a powerful lesson. Someone who was where I wanted to be offered to help me, and I said yes. But somehow other people chose to say no. I can't explain it. The question is this. When someone who is where you want to be offers to help you, what will your answer be? Since then, I have traveled on to five continents and delivered talks to more than 1.8 million people. Now, you may not be a world champion or address multiple millions of people and speak on five or more continents, but I want to encourage you to develop your skills in communication. You know, at Reader's Digest, we used to have job postings on paper on cork notice boards on the wall. And I noticed that for every position, be it CFO down to admin assistant, even in the mailroom, the one common denominator was this requirement. Excellent verbal and written communication skills are required. These skills will serve you in the classroom, in the boardroom, and in the living room. I encourage you, build and develop your skills in communication. Attend seminars, listen to audio, read books, whatever you do. If you haven't already, join a Toastmasters club. I am still a dues-paying member after 27 years. I encourage you, build these skills, become better leaders, become better communicators, and become better human beings. I am Mark Brown, the 1995 World Champion of Public Speaking, and you'll see me on stage or online. Blessings to you.